So in the last video, we took a look at the SR latch, which is this latch that has two inputs, a set input and a reset input. And if we input a one on the set input, it sets the latch and the Q output goes high. And then if we input a one on the reset, it resets the latch and the Q output goes low. So in this video, I wanna look at trying to build a latch that has a single input. So instead of having one input to reset it and another input to set it, having a single input that when it's a zero, it resets it, and when that input is a one, it sets it. So you might think, well, that's easy. We can just put an inverter here. And so if our input is a one, then it sets it. And of course our input's inverted, so the reset's a zero. And if our input's a zero, then it's not setting it. But if we invert that zero, we get a one up here and it resets it. So let's try and build this and see what happens. So here is the circuit, and basically it's the same as before. So we've got the two NOR gates here uh, connected just like this, and then the set input is connected here to this button, to our single input. And then the button is also connected through an inverter to the reset. And so this is the reset up here, and it goes through an inverter. And to invert, I'm using this NOR gate. So this, this chip has four NOR gates on it. And so rather than having another chip that has an inverter on it, you can actually use a NOR gate as an inverter because if you look at the truth table for the NOR gate, you can see if both inputs are zero, then it outputs a one. If both inputs are one, it outputs a zero. So if you tie both of the inputs together, you can turn a NOR gate into an inverter. So this is just kind of a little shortcut since I've already got the NOR gates on this chip and I'm not using all four of them. Uh, so this switch is going into uh, both inputs. The little jumper here connects both inputs and then the output of this NOR gate that's now an inverter is going into the reset. So let's see what happens. Okay, well, the input is off and the, the latch is reset. So the Q is zero, the not Q is, is one. And if we turn the input on, the Q goes high, so it sets it, um, and the, the not Q is low. The problem is it's not actually latching anything anymore. It's not, uh, it's not serving as a memory or, or, or storing anything. It's just whatever the input is, then Q is the same thing and not Q is the opposite of the input. So this is not super useful. So what we need to do is find a way to tell the latch part of this when it should uh, latch the input and when it should just ignore the input. And so a way to do that is to have an enable uh, option essentially, or an enable input. And this is an example here of adding an enable to the SR latch. So this is our SR latch that we're, that we're familiar with. Um, and instead of just having the, the reset and the set inputs directly go into the latch, we have them going through these AND gates. And so in order for this AND gate to output something, both inputs have to be on. So this has to be this and this have to be on in order to get an output here. And so by using these AND gates, this gives us an enable input. And so as long as the enable input is off or zero, both of these outputs, these AND gates are gonna be zero regardless of what the reset or set is. So this basically gives us a way to kind of turn on the latch and turn it off. So let's build this and just to kind of get a better intuition of what's going on. So this is that SR latch with enable. And so what's going on here, it's a bit more complex, but down here is our NOR gates, just like we've, we've been seeing before. Uh, and the, the outputs are connected to the inputs. That's what these yellow wires are, is these cross wires here. And then the inputs, the reset and the set are these blue wires. But instead of going directly to switches, they're now going to AND gates. And this is a 7408 uh, quad AND gate chip. And uh, we're using two of the AND gates on this chip. And so one of the AND gates outputs is going to reset, the other is going to set. The inputs are going, are coming from either the reset button, which is this uh, across this green wire, or the set button, which is, which is this button across the, uh, this other green wire. And then the enable is this button up here is connected to both, uh, or an input of both AND gates. Uh, so this is, this is basically a uh, SR latch with enable. So it's just like the SR latch, but we now have this enable thing. So let's take a look at how this works. So we power it up. Looks like it's started up in the in the set state because Q is, is high, but just like the regular SR latch, it's just gonna kind of randomly pick one state. 
Um, and if we try to reset it or set it, you can see that pushing these has no effect, and that's because it's not enabled. What we have to do is enable it by pushing the enable option here, and now that it's enabled, the set and the reset will work just like before. We can set it and reset it. And so if we reset it and then let go of the enable, now the set and reset don't do anything. If we turn on the enable, we can set it. And then if we turn off the enable, it stays set. And now the set and reset don't do anything. So we have this SR latch that we can set and reset only when the enable is on. And so now that we have this enable option, let's see, let's try and put that inverter back in and see what we can do. So here's, here's the same thing. We've got the set and reset here uh, going through the AND gates. We have our enable, and now we're hooking this inverter up. And so we have a single input coming in here, and we can either set it by setting this high, which will set the latch, or we can reset it by setting it low, which will then set the reset high and the, and the set low but it'll only change when we've enabled it. So if we look at that circuit, we've got our NOR gates just as before. We've got them, them hooked up with the two inputs, and so this is the reset and the set inputs over here, are these blue, are the, the blue wires. And then they go into the, or they come from, I should say, the AND gates, and we're using two AND gates here as well. And then the inputs for the AND gate, one of them is the enable, and then that's this top button here, and so you can see these two yellow wires are going to an input on each of the two AND gates. And then the input, which I've labeled as D for, for data, I guess, the input is this, this second switch here, which you can see there's a green wire that's going into the input of, of the sort of the bottom AND gate, which is the set. And there's another green wire that goes back over here, and again, we're using one of the NOR gates as, a, as an inverter. And so it's going into uh, two inputs of that NOR gate and then the output of that NOR gate, so the inverted, uh, the inverted signal from that NOR gate is then coming back into the top AND gate. So if we power it up and take a look, it powers up and it uh, looks like it's set at the moment. I've also added an LED here, so the input uh, you can you can see whether I'm pushing the button here. And so you can see the input is changing, this this input is changing, and now the output's not changing. Uh, and that's because the latch is not enabled. If we enable it by pushing the top button, you can see now that when the input changes, the output changes to follow it. But if I if I turn off the enable, it latches in the, in the, in this case, reset state. And then if I turn on enable, and then I set it, and then I turn off enable, it now latches enabled. And so this is usually called a D latch uh, because it will latch a single bit of data. Because uh, we're, you know, we can use this as, a, as part of a, to build a memory or a register or something in a computer to store one bit of data. And if you see, there's a, there's a block symbol for it as well, which has, has this block and it has the, the D input, the enable input, and then the Q output as well as the, the not Q output, which is just always gonna be the opposite of Q. And in fact, normally if we, if we were using this to store a bit of data, we, we would probably just ignore this Q. And so in fact, we can do that and we just pull the LED out and that'll, <laughs> we, can, we can basically ignore it. And so you can see what's stored in this D latch right now is a one. And so then if I enable it, and then I change that to something else, maybe I change it to a zero, now what's stored in the D-latch is a zero. And again, I can enable it, and it follows whatever the input is, and then if the input is a one, and then we turn off the enable, the latch stores a one. And so you can see this is a great way to store one bit of data as we, as we might in a computer register or, or even memory or something.